Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this platform, this is the channel where we look at the soul connections and relationships between some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be looking at the connection between Monica and the rapper C. Murner. Um, Monica is a beautiful singer. She has one of my favorite singing voices of all time. And C. Murder is a rapper who has been in jail for a very long time. And the two of them definitely have a connection. So we are going to be looking at the love and relationship between these two. As always, these readings are just my energetic opinion. They are not based on actual facts or receipts and should never be used to send hate to celebrities. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Monica and C. Murder. Okay, so we have a bunch of bonus cards, a bunch. And I feel like they all need to be out, but I'm just going to leave them to the side for right now and put out the spread. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. Wow. Wow. This is what the shared energy is between them. Sorry, it's already happening. This is the shared energy in between them. And they are so sad without each other. They are so sad without each other. The King of Wands in reverse. See, murder is very fiery. It's very fiery energy. Ooh, okay. Ooh, child, there's a lot. Some Virgo energy, some Leo energy in the reading. Social media, okay. Wow. And the wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This was a dream for the two of them to be together. Wow. And let's look at all these bonus cards. Six of Cups. They definitely both want to reconcile this relationship. That's without a doubt. Four of Wands. She feels like home to him. Four of Cups. He's so sick of like waiting to be with her. He feels like he's just been waiting his whole life to be with her. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. The world and the Six of Pentacles. There's so much he wanted to give to her in this relationship. We're going to have to mess up the heart so you can see all the cards. <laughs> There's so much he wanted to give to her in this connection that he never got a chance to. Wow, there's a lot to break down. So let's start in the middle with the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. This, this connection is constantly in each other's energy. They are both always feeling connected to each other. And there's just so much sadness and pain associated with them just not being able to be together. Because this King of Wands in reverse is really speaking to... You know, in this context, a king who is, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles here and trapped, you know, you know, trapped and where and it's interesting because he's the king of wands in reverse, this passionate, fiery, talented person 
who it's like has all this talent but is unable to like um showcase that in an autonomous way this eight of pen this eight of swords sorry coming through on monica's side in reverse is really her feeling trapped in the mental body about this connection and there's so much unfinished business there are definitely third parties associated with this connection as well but it's like none of those third parties really matter to either one of them because the reconciliation is something that they would both want and something that she absolutely wants and she feels so alone without him, even though like she's obviously moved on in her life. I don't know if she is a Virgo, it has Virgo energy in her chart. Um, but she feels so alone in the situation and but she's like never giving up. Like with this nine of wands energy, she will never give up until he is home because she feels like she feels like his legacy has been tarnished more so. And um how he just like I just hear like he just doesn't deserve this he just doesn't deserve this and so she's never going to give up the fight for him because it's like I want to bring his legacy home I want to bring his legacy home that's what I keep hearing and this world card is like is this world card is speaking to the fact that like she just feels like this is a whirlwind romance the two of them are like once in a lifetime and he will always be that love where it just like that one that got away like that's what it is it's the one that got away and then on his side of things with this four of wands this is the fact that she feels like a home to him and he also wants to rise above get out um of where he is have a victory even though his hope his strength has definitely been dampened over time at the soul level because there's just been so much to overcome it is still there but it's definitely been dampered but there's like this new fire and that's because of this prince this princess of swords that's representing social media it's like there's this new energy that's coming in and he is daring to dream like daring to look into the future a little bit even though he can be sort of cynical about that as well and still kind of like goes into this negative mind about the future he still believes in some way that like things can even out and there will be some reciprocity and he will actually be able to I feel like there's so much he wants to give Monica for what I feel like his soul is saying for everything that she gave to me. Like she's given so much to me. Oh my gosh, my heart is so heavy. Let's pull from the Sacred Destiny deck. He's definitely reached enlightenment in some ways um, with everything that he's been through. He's reached a level of enlightenment. leadership <clears throat> so this is for monica her taking the lead in this reconciliation i feel like it's gonna happen though like i just have this energy that this nine of cups is in reverse but it will be flipped up like i feel like it's definitely going to happen and it's her taking control action absolutely like it's it's time for that action like this this is really possible this is really possible for the two of them at like she their their relationship feels really traditional where like he's a, a cisgendered man who's the masculine and she's the cisgendered woman who's the feminine but in this case because of how things are set up 
she is really stepping into her masculine leadership and taking action. And he is having to trust in his intuition and is, and is sinking deeper into enlightenment and having to trust in his partner in this way and relinquish that control where he wouldn't normally do that. open heart stuck crown chakra presence shielding put shielding over here and holiday yeah this can happen <laughs> i feel very confident he feels stuck this open heart is really speaking to him um believing again like i said his soul like his belief with the strength card in reverse has been tainted over the years and i feel like that's super understandable if you were in jail for however many years and nothing was changing and you felt like you shouldn't be there you you would feel that way right so but this is teaching him you know opening his heart on so many levels but with this holiday that's why i get this energy that this it's so possible for him to actually have this victory for monica for her it's about staying present if she gets too caught up in either the past of things or um just the daunting aspects of her having to take on this leadership it's gonna get lost she had like this consciousness shift you know and her stepping into this leadership position is all about her staying present because if she does that and, and, you know, she's coming through with leadership, shielding, like she's being the protector now. And I feel like he was always her protector. And I feel like the reason why she has to stay present with that is because if she sinks into, you know, but he's be my protector and in the sadness and in the story of it, it will block her forward momentum. Um, and by the end of it, I feel like they're both going to be unstuck and they're both going to be more enlightened and wiser from this situation. Um, but I like I said, like it feels so possible for her to get this done. So it almost makes me want to pull just a final message from Spirit for Monica and C Murder in this connection. These are the cards. Patience. Deep love. Yeah, he believes in her. He believes in her. He knows she can do this. Wow, this has been such a painful experience for the both of them. It's been a long time coming. And they're like, they're both so over the separation. And it's like that fire of being so done with the separation, but at the same time, so filled with deep love. Like this is like such a soulmate vibe between the two of them. That's why he so fiercely believes in her and is just sort of leaning into his intuition and she's in it to win it. She's in it for the long haul. So I'm rooting for Monica. Let me know what you thought about this reading in the comments. You can connect with me at Official Chinez on TikTok and Instagram. You can also find out how to get a personal reading from me in the pinned comment. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.